Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be doing some solo random dungeons. Uh, what you're going to notice is I am on a T7 area, and I'm going to be right beside a war camp. So what I'm going to do here is I'm not an alliance, in an alliance, so I'm going to be abusing the war camp and doing raids right next to the war camp. Um, a little off the beaten path, and you're going to want a you know a place kind of far away from portals. So obviously you have Alderwood over here, that's about two or three zones away. And then we have Kumtor, which is three zones away as well. Um, and there's no really other portals in the area. So we're in a pretty safe spot. Um, and we're going to have a war camp, which is going to be the most important part. Because war camps allow you to bank, if you didn't know that. Um, so this little area on the map, you can go there and bank. Um, there's going to be a lot of players out here you know, running around, as you can see that right now. Um, but this is definitely the safest way to go about getting them solo random dungeons. Uh, I've done a few already and used the war camp, and it's been a great way to uh, speed up the process. Um, but make sure you're running a build that's going to actually work in Solar Random Dungeons, a build that's going to clear quickly. Um, looks like we have a couple guys here, so we might just walk this one out. <clears throat> but you you got to be aware of ganks, obviously, and now they know that you're in the area, so I should probably move to a new zone. I'm going to go probably a zone over. They have a war camp there as well. So what you're going to notice is if you can... Let's see here if you go to blighted bog you're gonna have a war camp if you go to uh, flesh heater morass you're gonna have a war camp if you go to uh, black more bleak more you're gonna have a war camp so all these t7 zones have war camps um, and that's gonna be great for you to use and um, use it as a bank it's just really is great um, and then you can just transfer it over with some buddies later on uh, for a little bit safer travel so I would definitely suggest using these war camps with the solar random dungeons and we'll get into some gameplay now. So we actually are running into a T6 dungeon in the black zone. Um, the black zone loot is going to be a ton better than the red zone loot. Um, as somebody actually commented in the previous video when I was doing red zones, I was doing red zones basically because there were so many people out ganking and I like to see that um, people are entering the, you know, the dungeon to prepare and get those kills. But right now they're actually died down just a tad. And now that I feel comfortable going into the black zone without getting ganked nonstop, I get a 6.1 crossbow drop um, or 6.1 weeping repeater drop from a uh, mob. And that's just going to be a great drop right there. I think that's about 180k probably. Um, here we're going to get into killing some more mobs. And we're going to have a boss coming up here that I would like to show you guys. He does a lot of damage. Um, but... This is, like I said, tier 6 black zone. It was just a uh, tad below the um, tier 7 zone that we were just looking at. I went down through there and just did a tier 6 real quick while I wait for tier 7. Uh, the zone up, up in tier 7 to clear out a little bit before I go back up there. Um, but I am running a soul scythe build. So this soul scythe build obviously is not known for dungeons. It's not, you know, one of those crazy dungeon builds. that's going to, you know, we, uh, you know, sweep everything out of there. But right now I only have a soul scythe build kind of available to me for this high of tier, uh, because this is still a pretty brand new account. Um, like I said, this is going to be my best build for, uh, you know, these solo dungeons. So I also like the idea of being able to kill anybody that comes from behind me most of the time or being able to outplay them. So right now we're just kind of waiting for my regen to pop and get some energy and health back. And then we are going to go in, as you can see, um, these things can be annoying. If you get a lot of these uh, types of mobs or yeah, type, if you get any of these types of mobs, if you get about six or you know four or six of them, they can really you know, mess you up with that AOE damage. It starts to become really hard to dodge what they are doing. Uh, this boss is actually pretty difficult. Um, the reason this guy's difficult is not really because he has um, a lot of damage, but because his abilities are so constant. So he actually throws abilities nonstop. Uh, this is a purple chest, so it's definitely well worth, you know, doing it. Um, but you want to have an interrupt to interrupt some of those, uh, abilities that you can't really dodge if you're slowed or whatever, or you, you know, it's such a big area. Uh, it's good for melee because I'm right on top of him. So I can just dodge right on through, uh, right here. I'm not going to probably be able to dodge that. Yeah. I didn't get my dodge off there in time, but here, those are easy to dodge for me. Um, he does have an ability that I just figured out and you're going to be able to see right there. I Hellion choosed in, um, and then I tossed him with the tornado to try to get out of here alive and just kind of reset. I messed up right there. I didn't actually play against this boss yet. 
So when he used his ability in the middle of my Hellion Shoes um, transfer over to him, I kind of got screwed over. I didn't really understand what was going to happen. As you see there, you're going to want to stay far away from that AoE damage as it does a lot of damage. So now that I'm starting to heal up a little bit, um, kind of waiting on my cooldowns, trying to get my Demon Cape back up there in the top left. You're going to be able to see that it's on cooldown. Trying to get it all ready for my Hellion Shoes Burst, uh, that 20% damage. Try to, you know, I don't know, use all of the 20% boost. So we're going to pop in here um, with the Hellion Shoes, and we're going to pop everything right away, try to get a lot of burst down. Um, and, you know, we're going to get about one-fourth of his health instantly. Uh, and now it's just going to be about dodging abilities. Right here, uh, that, that one's a pretty easy, simple dodge. This one can be rough because you can't really see... Depending on where you're at on the, you know, in the area, you actually can't see the ability's full uh, ring or, you know, where the damage is going to be coming. So right now I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I got him below half health already. Um, right there I see that it pops, so I run out instantly. So it's going to be a very easy fight this time around because I didn't get bursted by that. Uh, now I come back around and get a tornado. Um, I'm going to dodge roll through that, cancel it. And this should be, like I said, an easy fight from here on out. Uh, I dodge that. That can be somewhat difficult to dodge depending on where you're at. Uh, right there was kind of rough because I Hellion choosed in during his ability and I actually went right in front of him. So it did end up being a very close fight, but you get 10k fame, very worth it. And you're going to see I got pretty good loot in here. Uh, I got a T7, um, may, or what is it? A T7, uh, I think there's a mace. I couldn't really read from how far I'm looking at this uh, video, but that was a pretty good drop for sure. Um, we got. Uh, probably 200k worth of you know items there and you know it's just you know for a t6 dungeon um it, it's going to be pretty great loot um this is in the black zone so that's going to help you guys out a lot if you do some black zone you're going to get a lot better loot uh, than you would in the red zone and you also get a little bit better fame as well so make sure you're trying to you know do some adventures in the black zone as you know the red zone is probably going to be packed anyway um, but I had a lot of fun doing random dungeons, uh, solo random dungeons in the black zone today. And I hope you guys, um, you know, try out some of these dungeons. And if you're nervous about getting ganked, just run some T4, you know, 4-1 gear and really outplay, um, the mobs and the bosses. So you should be okay with about 4-1, 5-1 gear. If you're doing like a tier six dungeon, uh, you should be able to complete it. Uh, but you know, maybe bring siphon energy in case you get ganked, uh, things like that. But you know, go out and try them. They're a lot of fun and I'll see you guys in the next video.